Hi, welcome to my channel. I just wanted to share with you my uh, latest harvest from my Urban Worm bag. Uh, this down here is what I started out with. It's cocoa core and uh, cardboard shreddings and it's soaked really well. I usually soak it a day or two in advance before I add it to the Urban Worm bag. Um, there's a little bit more cardboard in here than I normally have. It's usually a 50-50 ratio, but um, I'm trying to get the worms to eat a lot more cardboard so I can get a lot more of the um, black gold here. So this seems to be a lot more moist and fluffy than the last harvest I had. And it could be just a combination of the diff uh, different foods I'm feeding them and then also um, I've been a little bit more diligent about uh, giving them, uh, putting water on top of the bin. So, and, and I still leave my zipper open. I don't ever close it up because it's in my garage. So, um, but yeah, on camera here, it's a lot lighter in appearance, but in person, it's literally like black gold. It's very dark, dark and just really beautiful. It has no odor. It's actually rather earthy, but it's just gorgeous and super fun to run your fingers through. So if you stick with it, you can get this beautiful, beautiful black gold here. Um, but I'll show you my Urban Worm bag right now. As you can see, I keep it pretty full. So I make it a point to feed pretty much on a weekly basis. Sometimes if I give them like really huge feedings like I did today, then I'll probably wait a week or two. And it really depends on what it is I'm feeding them. If it's something they really like, like pumpkin or squash, or a uh, jackfruit or something like that, they go crazy over that. And even if I give them a huge feeding of it, it'll be gone within a week. So um, I put down the food and then I put the, uh, I sprinkle some eggshells on top, ground eggshells if I have them, and then I'll put the bedding on top. And then I just move, I go from section to section so that the worms always have a cool place to escape. This is a coconut shell they um, ate out all of the meat from the inside a while back and I'm just uh, I still have it in here I'm just letting the worms that are st still buried deep down inside of there getting giving them a chance to get out before I toss this thing so I'm just letting it sit on top and hoping that they'll come out of inside and go bury down into the into the bedding there but um yeah it's been a great bin to have you can see that the outside of it is still really clean and I've had it for I think a little over a year now and this is just a little catch bin I keep here because worms will continue to fall through the little opening. I mean, you can only cinch it closed so much. So it's a good idea to have a catch bin down there. And I even put a little food in the middle. I keep this very moist and I go in here weekly to fish out any worms that have fallen through. And I put them right back inside of the um, urban worm bag. So um, yeah, you always want to keep that there for them. And uh, yeah, so just stick with it and pretty soon you will have yourself some black gold. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye.